Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to live theater. In the event of any emergency, the alarms will sound and you will exit through the nearest exit sign. This performance will include a 10-minute intermission. We'd like to remind you that flash photography is not permitted and to turn off all mobile phones at this time. Welcome to the Brown Monroe Theater, and we hope you enjoy this production of Crimes of the Heart. Because of it. 
That's right, I never told you. But I had to go plead with that mean old woman and convince her that I was just as fond of Sarah Megan than she was. And I'm only first cousin anyway. I can hardly blame for all the skeletons in the grass closet. I mean, was she mainly not telling she even brought up your mother's death? And a oh, poor please, cat. Please, please, Chase. I'm, I'm sorry, but you're in the ladies' league now. That's right, I am. But frankly, if Mrs. Ford hadn't developed that tumor in her bladder, I wouldn't be in the club today. Much less committee head. Well, anyway. You be sweet potato away right here for making calls so you can convince her not to come back home. It make things a whole lot easier, don't you think it really would? Probably. Good. Hmm. Now suit yourself. How's my hair? Fine. Now put your knot in the back, is it? No. Fine, then come on away. I've got any me over there keeping an eye on PK and Buck Jr., but I don't trust with them for one period of time. Her <laughs> mom's like a little seed, honestly.
can't stand it when you McGrath and my daughter cry. It just gets me. I'm so... Oh, sorry. oh, sure, you mean when Meg cries, you can never stand to see her cry, but not me. I could feel the pigs from... Come on, lady. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I don't know what's gotten into me. I, I've been on this crying jack for days now, and I guess it's this whole thing with, with, with Babe, and, and old granddaddy's been in the hospital oh. now for months. Did you try calling me? You? Yes, as a matter of fact, I've been waiting on her to call back, but I have no news from her. Is she coming home? I don't know. I, I've been trying to reach her. But well, if she decides to come in, let me know. I'd like to talk, talk to her. Oh, you would? Huh? Yeah. Sadly, I would, Lenny. Yeah, it is sad. <laughs> it is very sad indeed. <laughs> Jello face, her coffee's boiling. Oh, it is. Thanks. Well, you better go on Scott up. You don't want him waiting for you. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Oh, poor kid. It's his first time at a dentist. Oh, poor thing. I'm sorry to have to tell you about your horse. Oh, I know. Thanks for the pecans. Yeah. Well, Alani. Oh, how's the baby? Oh, she's fine. Real pretty. <laughs> <laughs> she holds her finger like this with her hand. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> Bye, Lenny. Bye. Thank you. 
Why? Why would she shoot at him? Well, as a matter of fact, I called her this morning and I asked her that very same question. I said, babe, 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 why would you shoot him? Why would you shoot your very own husband? And you know what she said to me? She said, because I didn't like his looks. I just didn't like his looks. Well, I don't like his looks either. <laughs> but you wouldn't shoot him. You wouldn't shoot a person because you didn't like their looks. You wouldn't do that. <laughs> I hate to say this, I really do hate to say this, but I believe Babe is ill. I mean, in her head. Now, Lenny, don't say that. There's plenty of same reasons to shoot someone, and I'm sure the baby had one. Well, we got to do this guy to the best lawyer in town. Do you know who the best lawyer in town is? Well, Zachary is, of course, but he's been shot. Well, count him out. Count him and his whole firm out. <laughs> anyway, you don't have to worry about a lawyer because she's already got one, okay? She does? Yeah. Who? Barnett Lloyd, Annie Lloyd's daughter. She just opened her office here in town, and Uncle Watson said we'd be doing in your favor behind her. Doing Annie a favor. Doing Annie a favor? Have you thought about Babe? Do you want to do Babe a favor 30, 40 years? Have you thought about that? No, you don't snap at me. You just don't snap at me. I just try to do what's right. All this responsibility keeps on falling on my shoulders, and I just try to do what's right. Oh, boo hoo hoo, Lane. And how could you send me such a letter about Babe, huh? How could you? Oh, Babe's in trouble. Oh, say, well, well, maybe if you didn't live you way out here in Hollywood, if you came home for Christmas, maybe I wouldn't have to pay all that money to send you letters. Oh, and what was that you said earlier about how old we were getting when you saw my face? You didn't mean we. No. You meant me, right? You meant me. Mm -hmm. I'm 30 years old today, and my face is getting all pinched up, and my hair is falling out of the comb. Mm -hmm. Lenny, it's your birthday. October 23rd. Hot it all. Happy birthday, Lenny. Well, it's not. Billy Boyd died last night. He was struck down by lightning. He was struck dead. Struck dead. What a mess. What a mess. And you say you're 30 years old, and that means I'm 27. And Bates, 24. Oh, God, I'm getting old. So Babe shot Sacred Votrell, the richest, most powerful man in Hazelhurst, slid up in the gut. Little babe. That's hard to believe. Little Babe should not forget. Little Babe. <laughs> oh, I remember how she was always the prettiest and per most perfect of the three of us. Old Granddaddy used to call her his dancing sugar plum. <laughs> remember. And he was so happy the day she got married to Zachary. He was so proud, too. He remarked how she was going to skyrocket to the heights of Heiselhurst society. Yeah. And whether she knew it or not, Zachary was the right man for him. <laughs> lordy, lordy. What's the old granddaddy say about that now? Well, I don't know. I haven't told him this just yet. I was hoping that, well, maybe you can come with me later on tonight and maybe we can... Yeah, we'll see. Talk to you. Yeah, we'll see. Do you have anything to drink around here to the tune of bourbon? <laughs> no, there's no liquor. Well, okay. So you will come with me tonight to see old granddaddy and ask him and tell him everything about me, will you? Of course. I'm sure he's going to go on about my single career the way he always does. Well, how is your career going? It's not. What do you mean? Are you still staying in that club down in Malibu? Nope, not since Tuesdays. Well, are you staying in another club then? Uh-uh. Mm -mm. Well, what do you do then? <laughs> What I do is I pay the cold storage bill for the dog food company. That's what I do. Oh, gosh. Wouldn't it be better to stay in the show business field? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Well, you know, old granddaddy always said all you need is exposure, and then you can make your own breaks. 
Oh, remember how he, uh, remember his suggestion about putting your, your foot in one of the blocks of cement out there? He thinks it's real important. Yeah, I think I heard about that and probably gonna hear it again when we go see him look. So let's just drop it. What's that? Oh, I love pecans. We have enough cracker demons. We have enough cracker. Oh, where's the part of that? Where's the challenge? <laughs> oh, no. back down with him. They're married now. Married? Mm-hmm. Dog married a Yankee woman? Yeah. And they have two kids. Kids? Mm-hmm. So that means his kids are half Yankee. <laughs> I suppose. Gosh, that really gets to me. I don't know why that really gets me. I don't know why I should. What stupid looking pot? Who would buy it anyway? What is this? Where else can I stand? Oh yeah, let's just go make their home. Is 
sister called earlier today and said it's been saved. Isn't that good news? Oh, that's fine news. That's mighty fine news. Well, I heard that the liver is one of the most important bodily organs. I believe it's a, it absorbs X's bile. Well, it's been saved. Did you hear the good news about the liver, little chicken? I heard it. Don't you call me chicken. I told you how many times I'd call me chicken, but then once I call me chicken, you cannot call me chicken. Pecan Bob Jr. have eaten paints. <laughs> no, they're right. <laughs> She had a bad day, a real bad day. You know what it feels like to have a real bad day. And that old yellow cat? It's sad about that old yellow cat. Yeah. I bet if Daddy hadn't left, they'd still be alive. I don't know. Because it was after he left, she started spending whole days on the back porch just smoking and drinking and flicking her ashes on the different ants and bugs that went by. Yeah, well, I'm glad you left. Now, old yellow cat, stay back there with her. Daddy was a bastard. I thought she would have loved anyone who would have been that old cat. <laughs> Those white teeth, guess I must have been mistaken. He was such a, he was such a bastard. Was he? I don't remember. <laughs> I think I'm gonna make some lemonade. Do you want some? Yeah, sure. Baby, why won't you tell anybody why you shot Sager? You must have had a good reason, didn't you? Well, I guess I did. Well, what was it? I can't say. Oh, come on, babe, just tell me. Well, I'm sort of protecting someone. Protecting someone? Oh, then you really didn't shoot anybody. I, I tell you, I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> no, I shot him. <laughs> I meant to shoot him. I meant to kill him. But my hands were shaking and I got him in the stomach instead of the heart. I see. So, I'm guilty. <laughs> And I'm just gonna have to take my punishment and go right on to jail. Oh, babe. Don't worry, babe. Jail will be a relief to me. <laughs> I will get to learn how to play my new ukulele. I won't have to live with Zachary anymore. And I won't have his snoopy old sister Lucille pushing me around. Jail will be a relief to me. <laughs> Here's your lemonade. <laughs> Thanks. It tastes okay? Perfect. <laughs> I like a lot of sugar in mine, so I'm going to add some more sugar. Well, it looks like the pain is primarily placed on your arms and faces, but Chick still wants me to go drive them to Dr. Wynn just to make sure everything's all right. Oh, baby, be careful, please. Don't make such a mess. That's sharp enough. Please, be careful. Please, I'm all 
this sugar is going to make you sick. Cut yourself with a sharp knife. You're turning it on grandma. You think so? <laughs> more and more. God, I bet you she's never even been with a man. I mean, think about it. 30 years, and you've never even had it once. Oh, I, I don't know. I, I think she's maybe had it once. <laughs> when? Well, I, I don't know if I should say. Bang! <laughs> All right, well, there's this Charlie Hill from Memphis, Tennessee. He called her. They met on Lonely Hearts of the South. She'd seen her ad in a magazine. Jesus. But they broke it off. Broke it off. Mm -hmm. You see, something just doesn't seem quite right. Something doesn't seem right. Oh, God. Happy birthday, Lenny, from the Bug Boys. Oh, no! Today's Lenny's birthday! Yeah, that's right. I forgot all yeah. about it. I know I did, too. Gosh, we'll have to order up a big cake for her. She loves to make those wishes on the birthday cake. Yeah, a big cake. A huge one because Lenny needs it, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. That chick's so cheap. What do you mean? This plastic has some sadias on it. Let's see. Boy, oh boy, I am calling up that bakery and ordering up the very largest size cake they have. Yeah, good. That jumbo deluxe. Mm hmm good. Why? Wow. Imagine they make up a cake and it's this big. Oh, at least, at least that big. Well, I imagine they could even make one this big. <laughs> you think it could be that big? <laughs> Believe me, babe, it could be bigger. <laughs> what if we got a cake? We got a cake and it were this big. Oh. <laughs> go, 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 take the tree and give me some more that cake. Oh. 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 Who's that? I don't know. Hello, Miss Bugtrail. Oh, shoot, it's that lure. I don't want to see her. Oh, babe, you've got to talk to her sometime. No, I don't. Just tell her I died. Babe, come back here right now. You talk to her someday? Please, please, please. No, babe, I know her name. You need to talk to her right now. Babe's not here right now. Can you come back later? Oh, all right then. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye bye. Thank you. Start at the beginning. 
right there in the beginning. <laughs> well, do you remember Willie J? Corey Douglas boy? Oh, yeah, he was that kid we used to pay a dollar to go to the drugstore, get us a cherry coke. Right. Well, Cora Iron's yeah. at my place on Wednesdays. And she just mentioned that little Jay picked up this old stray dog. And he mm. got real fond of him. Well, <laughs> things started. Like, sex? <laughs> like that? <laughs> Wait a minute, babe. Will Jay's a small boy. <laughs> he's this tall. Oh, no, he's much taller now. He's 16 now. When you knew him, he was only about seven or eight. Even so, baby, sixteen. He's a black boy. He's a black boy. I know, Nick. I don't want to ruin his reputation. I'm just amazed, baby. Completely amazed. I didn't even know you were a liberal. I'm not a liberal. I'm a democratic. I was just so lonely. And he was so, so, so good. I never had him that good. We'd go out to the garage. Yeah, 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 I get the picture. <laughs> Let's go back to right before you saw things. Well, Willie J and I were standing around on the porch playing with dog. And then Zachary comes up and knocks him once right across the face and pushes him down the porch steps. And then I go in the living room and I go to the drawer where we keep the burglar gun. And I pull it out. And I, I held it up to my ear. That's right. I was going to shoot off my own head. And then I heard the back door slam. And I thought about Mama and how she killed herself. And I thought, she didn't want to kill herself. She wanted to kill him. And I wanted to kill him. I wanted to shoot Zachary. So I waited for him to come out in the living room. And I held up my gun. And I was aiming for the heart, but my hands were shaking and I missed and got him in the stomach. It's funny I really did that. Well, it's a good thing you did. Damn good thing. Yeah. Yes, sir. But you need to talk to Barnett boy. Talk to her and see if she can help. Well, what about Willie J? It's gonna be all right. Just talk to the lawyer you did to me, the way you did to me, and you'll see she's on her side, your side. No, 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 no! Bill, me, I can't! Bill, no! It's too bad! It's too bad! White cake, pink candles. That sound okay? Yeah, I think she'll like them. Think she will? Yeah. I'm hoping.
Yes, yes indeed, yes. <laughs> it seems to me that we can get you off with a plea of self-defense. And possibly, possibly we could go with innocent by reason of temporary insanity. But basically, what I intend to do is to prove that Zachary Votrell brutalized and tormented this poor woman to such an extent that she had no recourse but to defend herself in the only way she knew how. <laughs> then, of course, I'm hoping this will break the ice and allow us to expose Zachary Votrell as a total criminal, an abusive bully, and a redneck fuck. You sure you don't want to eliminate? What? <laughs> oh, no, thank you. Let's see, where were we? I just shall, Zachary. Right. You've just pulled the trigger. Tell me, do you think Willie J can stay out of all this? Believe me, it's in our interest to keep him as far out of this as possible. Okay. <laughs> so, <coughs> he just shot one Zachary Botrell as a result of his continual physical and mental abuse. What's next? Well, after I shot him, I put the gun down on the piano bench and went in the kitchen and made a pitcher of lemonade. Lemonade? Right. My mouth was just as dry as a bone. I was dying of thirst. So, in order to quench this <laughs> raging thirst that, that was choking you dry and preventing you from uttering unintelligible sounds or phrases, you went out to the kitchen and made up a pitcher of lemonade. Right, I made it just the way I like it. Lots of lemons, lots of sugar, about 10 lemons in all. Then I put two trays of ice and stirred it up with my wind. Well, then I drank three glasses, one right after the other. They were very large glasses. They were about this tall. <coughs> then my stomach kind of swole all up. This was from all that sour lemon. Could be. Then I wiped off my mouth with the back of my hand like this. I see. I did to clear off all those little beads of water that had settled there. Mm. Mm. Then I called up Zachary. I said, Zachary, can you use a glass? I've made some lemonade. What did he say? Did, did he answer? Did you hear an answer? No, he didn't answer. So what did you do? Well, I poured him a glass and brought it out to him anyway. You took it out to the living room. Right. That's gonna kind of look bad. What? Me fixing up that lemonade before calling up the hospital? No, not necessarily. I tell you, the reason I made up that lemonade up before coming to the hospital, I mean, besides the fact that my mouth was bone dry, mm -hmm. was that I was afraid to call the authorities. I was afraid. I was afraid that they had seen that I had shoot Zachary. Well, that I, in fact, shot him, and they would accuse me of possible murder and send me on the way to jail. That's, that's understandable. <laughs> I think so, because that's what's happening. This was happening because here I am about ready to go right out to the park for prison no, farm. No, 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 no. Yes, here I am practically on the brink of right now. Why oh. well, I feel so old? No, 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 wait, no. There's no reason for you to get yourself all upset and worried. Please don't, please. You just keep filling in as much detailed information about those incidents on the medical reports. That's all you need to think about. Don't you worry, Mr. Trump. We are going to have a solid defense case. Please don't call me Miss Botrell. All right. My name is Becky. People in my family call me Babe, but my real name is Becky. All right, Becky. Becky.
Well, I've got me a lawyer here that's building me up a solid defense yes, case. Yes. <laughs> Hold on just a minute. He says he wants to talk to you. He says he's got some blackened evidence that's gonna convict me of attempted murder to him on the no. first degree. No, block, he's blocking. Here, can you the phone? Hello, this is Barnett Lloyd speaking. I'm, his, I'm Becky's attorney. Oh, why, Mr. Botrell, I'd be more than glad to go and check out any pertinent information you may have. All right, then I'll be there right now. Thank you. Goodbye. What do you say? He wants me to go see him at the hospital this evening. He says he's got some sort of evidence. Sounds highly suspecting me. Ugh! Don't you just hate the sound of his voice? I just can't bear to stand it. I just can't. It's wait, wait, awful. Wait, now, there. Look, I have a solution. From now on, I'll handle all communications between you two. You can simply refuse to speak with him. All right. Yes. I will. I will do that. <laughs> <laughs> then I better get going and see what he's got up his sleeves. Barnett? Yes. What's the personal vendetta about? You know, the one you have with Zachary? It's, it's complicated. It's, it's very, very complicated. I see. The major thing he did was he ruined my father's life. He took away his home, his health, his respectability, his job. Excuse me, I don't like talking about it. I don't. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, <laughs> I just wanted to say, I hope you win it. I hope you win your personal vendetta. Thank you. I think it's a very important thing that a person can win a lifelong vendetta. Yes. Thank you. Well, I better get going. All right, let me know what happens. Yes, I will. I will let you know. Goodbye, Becky. Goodbye, Barnett. Goodbye, Becky. Goodbye, Barney. Goodbye, Becky. Lynn, hi. Hi. Where's Nick? Oh, she had to go to the store to pick some things up. I don't know. Well, how's old Granny? Where's the cleaning closet? Granddaddy? Oh, he's fine. Wonderful. Never been better. Lenny, what's wrong? What's the matter? Oh, it's... <laughs> it's me. If I could just ring her neck, I could just ring it. Why? What did she do? Well, she sat in the hospital room and shamelessly lied to old granddaddy. She just sat there and told such untrue stories and lies. Well, what would she say? Well, for one thing, she said she's having an RCA record coming out this spring with her picture on the cover, eating a pineapple under a palm tree. <laughs> well, gosh, Lenny, don't you think she really is? Babe, she sat here this very afternoon and she told me how she's been working for the past year as a sales clerk for a dog food company. Oh, shoot, I'm disappointed. And then she went on and on and on about telling how in two weeks' time, she's going to appear on The Tonight Show. Mercy. Two weeks' time. Her old granddaddy has a TV set right in his bedroom. Imagine what a letdown that's going to be. Mercy, mercy me. <laughs> oh, and the reason why she didn't go home for Christmas was because she was in the middle of shooting a huge multi-million dollar motion picture and was just under too much pressure. <laughs> it's called Singing in a Shoe Factory coming out this spring. <laughs> but she doesn't have a large leading role in it. She has a small leading role. Well, Lord, Lord. I can't help it. I'm sizzling. I'm just sizzling. Sometimes Meg does strange things. Who ate this candy? Me. My one and only birthday present, and look what she does. While she took one bite out of each little piece of candy and puts it right back in, that is just like her. 
That's like Oh, Lenny, please. I can't help it. It gets me mad I'm saying about you. She just always runs wild and free, doesn't she? Ever since she was 14 years old, she's smoking and drinking and never made good grief. Mm -hmm. No, never made her own bed. Mm -mm. She always got what she wanted, didn't she? She was the one who got all the singing and dancing lessons by old granddaddy. And she even got that, that, that store-bought dress for prom. Remember how she was able to wear 12 jingle bells on her petticoats, but we're only allowed to wear three apiece? Mm -hmm. Remember? Why? Why? Why would old grandmama let herself 12 jingle bells on her petticoats and us th just three apiece? Oh, no, Lenny. Maybe she just didn't jingle them as much. <laughs> yes, we had ours. Ours in She's been through a lot. She's the one who found Mama. Oh, I know. She's the one who found Mama, but that's always been the excuse. I know, Lenny, but I tell you, she started doing strange things after it happened. Like what? Like things I never wanted to tell you about. She said she was afraid of being a weak person. I think it's because she cried in bed every night for such a long time. Goodness mercy. Well, I guess you'd have to be a pretty hard person to do what she did to Doc Porter. Oh shoot, it wasn't Meg's fault that hurricane wiped away Biloxi and that roof fell in and crunched Doc's leg. I don't get why they were blaming all that on Meg. Meg refused to evacuate. She refused to evacuate. Jim Craig and other Doc's friends were all down there trying to evacuate everyone. But Meg stayed on. She wanted to stay on because she thought a hurricane would be, oh, I don't know, a lot of fun. Everyone says she baited Doc and staying with her. Yeah. She even said she'd marry him if he'd stay. Well, if he had the mind of his own, he could have gone. <laughs> but he did. He did, because he loved her. He loved her. And then after the roof caved and they evacuated Doc to the high school gym, Meg left. She just left for California. For her career, she says. That is such a shame. That is such a shameful thing. Why, after that, it took almost a year for Doc's leg to heal. And he even gave up his medical career altogether. He couldn't stand being in hospitals anymore. That is such a sad thing. Everyone knew how much he wanted to be a doctor. That's why I've called him Doc for years. I don't know. Because I get really tough, because I don't really know. Gosh, you look so tired. I feel tired. They say women need a lot of iron so they don't feel tired. What's got iron in it? Liver. Liver, yes. And vitamin pills.
and daddy got him, I, they just flew out. I, I just wanted to make him happy and smile. I, I wasn't going to stand there while he looked sick and miserable and sad. I just wasn't. Oh, man, he is sick. Well, he's got no water milk. He's almost evaporated. Sit. You shouldn't have lied. You shouldn't have oh, told I'm such a yeah, story. I life. know that. Don't you think I know that? I hate myself when I lie to that old man. Feel so weak. And then I have to do three or four things I know he despised just to get even at that, that old bossy man. No, you don't talk so about old granddaddy. That sounds so ungrateful. Why well, he has gone out of his way to make a home for us. All he ever wanted was the best for us. That's all he ever wanted. Yeah, well, maybe it is. But sometimes I wonder what we want. Well, I wanted a team of white horses to ride to Mama's coffin, her grave to her coffin. That's what I wanted. Lenny, did you remember to pack my photo album? It's under all the nice stuff. I found it. Really, babe, I don't know why you should save all these unhappy things of your life. Why would you do that? I don't know. I guess I like to keep an accurate record, I suppose. Here's a picture of me when I got married. Let's see. Wow, you look about 13 years old. I was just 18. You were smiling, babe. Were you happy then? I was drunk on champagne punch, I remember that. <laughs> so. Oh, there's Meg singing at Greenies. Oh, I wish you were still singing at Greenies. I wish you were. Oh, you look so beautiful. Yes, you were so beautiful. No, you stop, are. Stop, stop it. I'm not. Look, Meg started to cry. I'm not oh, crying. Meg. Oh, quick. Better turn the page. We don't want Meg crying. <laughs> it's Daddy. Where'd you get that picture, babe? I thought she'd burn them all. I just found it around. What does that inscription say? What does it say down there? Jimmy, clowning around at the beach, 1972. Oh, you look at that smile. Those white teeth. Turn the page, will you? We can't do any work with this. Is Mama in the cat? Oh, turn the page. You know, I bet if she didn't hang that cat along with her, she wouldn't have gotten all that national coverage. Oh, babe. No, Lenny. Oh, Meg. Oh, Lenny. Good to be home. Hey, I have an idea. What? Let's play cards? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right. It'll be just like we used to play our hearts all night long. I'll grab popcorn. I'll get bowl.
That was Doc Porter. He's down at Al's Grill. He's going to come on over. He is? Yeah, he said he, he wanted to see me. All right. Well, you still want to play cards? I don't think so. Well, you know, it's not much fun for just playing with two of us. I'm sorry. Maybe after Doc leaves, I'll join you. Well, maybe Doc will want to join and then we have a game of I don't think so. Doc doesn't really like cards. I think we're, we're going to go out somewhere. Meg? Well, Doc's married now. Yeah, you told me. As long as you know that. As long as you know that. Yeah. I know that. She made that stupid looking pot. <laughs> stupid. Excuse me? How many cards are you left? All of them or what? Megan, can I ask you something? What? Well, why would you take one bite of each little piece of candy in my candy box and then put it right back in? Why would you do that? Uh, I was looking for the one with nuts. The one with nuts? The one with nuts. It's a box of assorted creams. It says it right here. Box of assorted creams. Why, you, just, you couldn't just read that on the box? Oh. oh. You can just read that on the box. That was my one and only birthday present, Meg. Oh. My one and only. I'm sorry, but I'll get you another box. I don't want another box. That's not the point. What is the point? I don't, I don't know. The point is, you just have no respect for other people's property. That's the point. You just take and take whatever you want. Why, well, remember how you were able to wear all those jingle bells on your petticoats when we were on the last oh country beach? You're going out about the stupid jingle bells. Well, it's an example. It's a specific example of how you always got what you wanted. Lenny, you're just mad because Doc called. Doc? Who said anything about Doc? Why, well, I have long given up on you and all your men. I know I've had many men. Believe me, I've had way too many men. But it's not my fault you haven't had any. Oh, except they weren't from Memphis. What one from Memphis? The one they told me about from the club. Meg, can't you just shut your mouth for once? Oh, no, not the club. You didn't tell me not to tell me. They just else. flew right out of my mouth. They just flew right out. What do you have? <laughs> do you have wings on your tongues or something? Sorry, Lenny, I really am. No, I'll, I'll never ever be able to trust again. Oh, come on, Lenny, we were just worried about you. Finding a way to, to make you happy. Happy? Happy? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll never be happy. <laughs> no. Not if you keep acting like old granddaddy's nurse me. I mean, what do you think? No, I can't, uh. I can't help it. No, the reason she broke it up was because of Ogden. Oh, you didn't tell her the whole story? Oh, she told me something about your shrunken ovary. Man! Hey, well, you know, no, but I don't believe a word of that story. I don't care what you believe. It's always been so easy with you and all your men. Having all these men falling in love with you. But I have this shrunken ovary and I can't have children. And I'm 30 years old and my hair is falling out in the coat, so... What man's gonna love me? What man can love me? A lot of men. Yeah, a lot, a whole lot. Old granddaddy's the only one who thinks otherwise. Because he doesn't want to see me reject Oh, him. God, let me stop being so pathetic, will ya? You know how angry I get when you just sit there looking so pathetic? Tell me one thing. Did you ask this man from Memphis about any of this? Did you ask him about any of this at all? No, of course, because I didn't want him to not want me. Don't ever talk to me again. I don't think I'm gonna fall in. I don't 
This doesn't cost me employment. <laughs> you see, I told you she didn't even mention that stupid woman. She just broke it off because of old Ben Daddy, that jackass fool. Shut up, Meg. Why do you have to make Lenny cry? I just hate it when you make Lenny cry. Lenny! Oh, Lenny! home, Maggie. I came on home to see Bobby. How's Bay? She's good. Okay. Fair, she's fair. Do you want something to drink? What you got? Whiskey. Hey, don't tell these Lenny stock and bourbon, huh? No, uh, I've been to the store. Mm How's -hmm. your wife? Kids. Yeah, I got two kids. Boy and a girl? That's right, Mickey, a boy and a girl. What you always wanted, wasn't it? Said what I said. I don't know why. I think it's what you said. Lenny, she's been sleeping in the kitchen. How's Lenny? She's upstairs. I made her cry. Babe's upstairs seeing her. How'd you make her cry? I don't know. Eating her candy, talking about her boyfriend from Memphis. I'm upset about it. She's got a lot on her. Why can't I keep my mouth shut? I don't know, Lenny. Maybe you just don't want to. Maybe. Well, it's been a long time. It has been a long time. Let's see. When was the last time we saw each other, huh? I can't quite recall. Well, it wasn't in Biloxi, huh? Yeah, Biloxi, I believe so. And wasn't there a hurricane going on at the time? Was there? Yeah. There was one hell of a hurricane. Nate. Hurricane Nate, they called it. I remember now. It was a beautiful hurricane. We had a time. We had quite a time. 
drinking vodka, eating oysters on the half shell, and dancing all night long. And the wind was blowing. And God was a boom. God damn was it blowing. I've never seen such a wind blow. A hell maybe. Still singing those sad songs. No. Why not? I don't know, Doc. Things just got worse for me. And after a while, I just couldn't sing anymore. What do you mean? I went nuts. I ended up in Nellie County Psychiatric. sitting in chairs, nibbling on my fingers. And one day I ran out screaming. And I had my jewelry and my, and my money and all of my valuables. And, and I tried to stuff them in one of those March Dime collection boxes. And that's when they napped. Play a story, make those crazy. There's a moon out. It is there. Mm -hmm. Want to go take a ride in my truck and look at the moon? I don't know, Doc. I don't want to start up again. Who hey. says we're going to start up? We're just going to go, just going to go look at the moon, okay? You and I. Going for a ride in the country and look at the moon. Why not? That's it. Why not? Look at the moon. <laughs> you got it. Yeah. Don't forget the bottle. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I 
forget the glasses, forget the glasses. Yeah, forget the glasses. <laughs> forget the goddamn glasses. Forget the goddamn glasses. What is it? Hi. I just come from seeing Zachary at the hospital. Oh, it seems that his sister Lucille was somewhat suspicious. Suspicious? About you. Me? She... She hired a private detective. He took these pictures. They were taken about two weeks ago. It seems that she wasn't going to show me straight away to book trail. She wanted to wait till the time was right. These are pictures of me and Willie J out in the garage. Yes, I know. You looked at these pictures? Yes, well, professionally, I looked at them. <laughs> oh, mercy. Oh, mercy me. Quick, we can burn them. No, yeah. no, 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 They have their originals. I'm sorry. No.
the way we fight all the time, I really do. Me too. I guess I, I've been a little envious of her because she's always put so much, old granddaddy has put so much stock in her and her same talent. And I can't seem to do too much. I sure you can. I can't? Yeah. It's just like how I went out and bought this ukulele. 
hoping I'd be able to start up my own music career. I just went out and did it on hope. But, well, it looks like things aren't going to work out for me. But I know they're going to work out for you. No, they'll work out for you too. They will. I don't think so. Well, listen, I heard Zachary's already in fair condition at the hospital and everything, so he'll be walking and everything soon. He will. Yeah. Yeah. Life sure can be miserable. Yeah, it sure can. Well, I know that because the day before yesterday, Billy Boy died. He did? He was struck dead. He was struck down by lightning. Oh. Life sure can be miserable. Sure can. At last, my love has come along. My lonely days are over. And life is by Yes, I can. <laughs> well, he didn't even ask me. He didn't even want to ask me. I could, I could tell by the look in his eyes that he didn't even want to ask me. So, why don't I feel miserable? Why don't I feel more? I should be humiliated. I should be devastated. But all these feelings on my.
Not for you two, really, but for me. Things will, they'll work out. Yeah, it'll work out. Well, I don't know. I, I'm just scared to be here all by myself, all, all alone. You don't have to be alone. Maybe, babe, we'll move back in here. Nah, I don't think I'll be living here. never see him again? Well, if you told him, you can just untail him. No. No, 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 no. I can, I'd feel like a fool. That's not a good enough reason. All people know feel like fools, isn't that right, babe? Sure. Yeah. So, why don't you call him up and see where things No, are? no, I feel too scared. No. Come on, Lanny. <laughs> You gotta take a chance. Just call him up. Take some sort of chance. You think I should? Yeah. You gotta try. You, you really, just really should. Really, 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 really. Yes, really, yes, really, yes, really, yes, really, yes, yeah. Yeah. Okay, all right. I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll wait. Okay, I'll good. Wait. Yeah, good. I'll wait. Good for you. <laughs> yeah. You know his number? Well, I've got my confidence. I'm gonna. Like, no. uh, oh, uh, I'm just gonna um, call him from upstairs because I, I don't know. It'll be more private. <laughs> okay, okay, so I'm really gonna do it. I'm really gonna call him up. Yeah, go on up there. Go on up there. Okay, wish me luck. Good luck. Good luck. Yeah. Good luck, lady. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> you? Jesus. Oh. Hello? Oh, yes. Yes, yes, ma'am. Thank you. Yes, I'll wait. Okay, thank you. Bye bye. Who was it? Wrong number. <laughs> they were weak body. They were looking for weak body shop. All right. Well, I'm gonna do it. I'll be right, I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> that was paper. They have Lenny's cake. I'm gonna sneak out and pick it up. Okay. 
Zachary's collected against me. Looks like my goose is cooked. Oh, God, is that... Is that Lily Dre? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you sure hands grown. You were right about... Oh, my... Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't tell Annie. She'd hate me. No, oh, I won't tell Annie. <sighs> what are you going to do? What can I do? Becky? Who is it? Miss Barnett Boy. Oh, come on in, Barnett. Yeah, I'll be glad 
to you guys later. Right? I'm getting Lenny's cake and we're gonna have such a celebration. So if she asks where I've been, you just say, just, just say I've been out for a pop. Okay. Okay. See you later. Uh, bye, Becky. Take care, you know, I came to hear you five different times. We were singing a lot of in the Loxy. Green is having a good time. Yeah, green. The bad bitch. You were very, very good. There was something, there was something sad and moody about the way you sang the song. It was like you had some sort of vision, a special sort of vision. I can do it. I'm such a coward. I'm such a yellow belly chicken. I can do it. I can. Where's Meg? Uh, she went out back to go get some pawpaws. Oh, well, at least I don't have to face her. I tried. I tried calling him. I, I really did. But I swear, I, my heart was pounding like a hammer. Pound, 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 pound. I even. I even looked down at my shirt at some point and I could see it moving back and forth. I could. I really could. You look so disappointed. Are you disappointed, babe? Uh-huh. Oh no. Oh no. I've gone and disappointed my little sister, babe. Oh no. I feel like howling like a dog. Lenny?
Charlie. This is Lenny McGrath. I'm fine. I'm fine. Well, I was just calling to see you. How are things getting along? Oh, good. That's that's good. Oh, I, I know I just said that. I wish I didn't say that. Well, the reason why I said we couldn't see each other anymore is because I have this ovary problem and I can't have children. <laughs> Wait, Charlie, what a thing to say. No, they're not a bunch of snot no things. What? She was afraid of dying all alone. She was. Yeah. Seems like the best thing coming up would be a lot of angels and all of them singing. But I imagine them having these high, scary voices and these little pointed gold fingers that are sharp as blades. And you wouldn't want to meet them all alone. You'd be scared to meet them all alone. But it wasn't like what they said about her hating the cat. The fact is, she loved the cat. She was just so afraid of being all alone. Oh, why, babe, why? Why what? Where'd you put your head in the oven? I don't know, Meg. I'm having a real bad day. Those pictures. Barnett giving up her vendetta. Willie J heading north. And Zachary called up. He said he's gonna have me classified as insane and send me on out to the Whitfield Asylum. What? Why'd he never do that? 
Why not? <laughs> because you're not insane. Enough? Of course not. Barnett's got me running scared. Really? Sure. He's scared today. <sighs> Calling you insane. You're just as insane as anyone in Hazelhurst, Mississippi. Really? More so, a lot more so. Good. But babe, we we have to learn to deal with these real life hard days. It's starting to be a thing in our family. not like mama. I'm not so all alone. No, you're not. <laughs> I think we're supposed to be surprising Lenny right now. Oh, uh, where is Lenny? so I guess she's outside. Thank you. <laughs> I'm just gonna go on and get her. Oh, that's her, that's her, quick, 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 quick. All right, all right. Lenny! Lenny, run, run! Quick, Lenny, run! Nice wish to make. 
I'm gonna get the knot. <laughs> so we can cut his cake and celebrate the land of being born. Yeah. And we need a big slice each. Huge. Okay, I'll try. I'll try. That big enough? Oh, see, just do it. Oh, okay. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Oh, that's a really big, big one. Oh, wow. <laughs> you like them big, yeah? Right. Oh, that's a nice delicious. <laughs> just try it. Try, try the ass. Oh, okay. Or the cake. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, you do? Oh, you do? You do? 